Are you a blender head like me who sucks at using the compositor because you are more comfortable with After Effects? Blender AE to the rescue. Blender AE is a blender plugin sold on uh, aescripts.com website. Uh, it allows you to shoot data back and forth between both apps, Blender and After Effects. In the days of 2.79, you could export a JSX file from, from Blender to After Effects, and that's what I used to do when I would use Blender to do 3D tracking, and I'd send the camera and track points over to After Effects, where I'd use Element 3D to stuff the scene with 3D objects. That was before I learned modeling and rigging and animation in Blender. That export died when 2.8 was born. Oh, and that was that. Recently, I worked on a project that is currently in limbo, featuring a lady driving a car on a mountain road at night. I created the scene in Blender. There's the uh, mountain environment. See the camera moving around. There we go. You see the headlights, they look good on the ground, but uh, how would I get that glow to work? I don't know. So, Blender AE to the rescue. So because my headlights, the camera and the headlights are parented to that empty there, which is following the curve of the road, I mean, practically everything's parented to it. So I have to select all of these when I export. And what you do is you click connect to AE, it says connected, and then boom, export to AE. And then it's gonna have a little sink, a little sink. Another cup of tea, mum. All right. So here we are, it's finished thinking and it's all it's set up, look at that. Warm headlights, headlights. There's that, we have the camera, we have that empty. Although we don't really need it, we only needed it so that everything would stick to it and we get our you know, camera move in 3D space. I know that because I made the mistake of not including it and everything just sat still. So here we go. What's next is we make a new solid. I call it OF. Bam. And then give it optical flares. Da, da 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 Put that on transparent. Okay, we need to call this headlights A and B. So in optical flares, you go up here and you choose track lights and not you choose uh, under the lighting settings. The name starts with an A. Bow. Go in options and pick something. Beam. Now, where is it? It's probably, don't use light intensity. There it is, okay. See that? Whoa. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Then you're gonna duplicate that. And guess what? You're gonna switch it to light B. Oh my God, is it beautiful or what? And that's, that's why Blender E is so handy for guys like people like me who just, I started with After Effects before I started with Blender. I'm sure there's a million more ways to use it and when I find them, I'll, well, a few of them I'll share here with you guys. So here's the finished comp. It's got lots of effects on it. Oh God, it looks cool. I really like this. Blender A saved my life. This isn't about replicating what I did, but just how I used Blender AE to solve a problem. So if this video was interesting or of benefit to you, give a like and consider subscribing. Don't worry, it's free. I know Blender people are stingy, so you know, it's free, like Blender. Subscribing is free, like Blender. Subscribing is free, like Blender. Do it now. Like and subscribe, it's free. Did I tell you it's free?